What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and welcome to the prologue of my Sun and Moon Let's Play. On my channel, uh, I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of Sun and Moon, but mine's going to be a little bit different than maybe some of the other ones out there. What I'm going to be doing on my channel is a blind Sun and Moon Let's Play. And what that means is that throughout the months leading up to the release of the game, uh, when hype was building, I avoided all spoilers. I went pretty quiet on social media. I really just did not engage with people about Sun and Moon, hardly at all. So as a result, I've managed to wade through these murky waters and don't really know much about the game. So I'm gonna be going through and experiencing all of the, uh, all of the new Pokemon, new cities, gyms, anything about the game with basically no knowledge about it. I didn't get through unscathed. There are some spoilers that unfortunately were leaked to me. And I'll kind of go over those with you now so you know what to expect when the game does come out and I begin with episode one of the Let's Play. So what do I know? I know the three starters. I know what they look like and I know their names. Um, but I don't know any of their evolutions. I know that one of the legendaries of the two games is named Solgaio, and I know that he's Steel Psychic, but I don't know which one that is or, or for which game. I know that there were some competitive changes. I know that T-Wave got nerfed. You now drop to 50% of your speed, which is up from 30%. You're, you, you used to be dropped to 30% of your original speed. Now you're only dropped to 50%. I know that the accuracy of the move Thunder Wave was dropped to 90% down from 100%. So Paralysis, a little bit of a nerf. The move T-Wave, a little bit of a nerf. I know that Mega Evolution now calculates turn order and the ability from the Mega on the turn that you Mega Evolve. So no more Pranks or Stabilize on the first turn and no more protecting to gain speed stat for the next turn. You now have the stats of the Mega Evolution on the turn that you Mega Evolve and the ability to. All that is calculated prior to turn order determination. I know that uh, Aerialate, Pixelate, and Refrigerate got nerfed. So in the past they would provide a 30% damage boost. Now they only provide a 20% damage boost. I know that Dark Void Accuracy got nerfed and now only Dark Rye can learn it. And I know that Brave Bird got changed so that it only applies the priority if the Pokemon is at full HP. So, uh, oh wait, hold on, I know a few more things. I know that the region is called Alola, and I know that there's something in the game called Alola Forms. Uh, I don't really know what that means, but I'm inferring from the fact that it has the word forms in it that it's something similar to how Rotom has forms, like there's Rotom Wash, Rotom Heat, and at one point I heard someone say the name Incineroar, and that kind of sounds like a Pokemon, and I think they might have been talking about Pokemon prior to my arrival in that chat, so uh, I'm assuming there's a new Pokemon in Sun and Moon called Incineroar. So so that's, that's all I know about the game. Yeah, I think that's all I got, so I don't really know anything else about the game other than what I just listed for you guys so it's gonna be a really the reason I do this I did this for X and Y too but that was before I was a Poketuber so the reason I had I'm doing it again is because I loved X and Y not just because it was a great game but because I felt like I was experiencing Pokemon for the first time by being so blind to everything about it and that's an experience I hadn't had with Pokemon since I was a kid playing red blue and yellow and back then it was it was hard to learn about games other than through magazines like Game Informer and things like that. So I didn't I didn't really know much about the Pokemon games when they were coming out back then. And having that happen again now really increases the enjoyment I get out of the game. And I'm hoping that'll make for a fun let's play for you guys too. So the reason I'm doing that and the reason I'm making this video is to say, go ahead and give my let's play a try. Uh, everybody and their mom is gonna know the big tubers with the really high entertainment value and the great voices and personalities. They're, those videos are there and they got a lot of competition. I think mine provides something a little unique and I think you guys might enjoy it too. So definitely check out the first video. The first episode of this is gonna be coming out in a few hours. It's now 9.20 p.m. Pacific time and the game is gonna be released in about three hours. So I'm gonna be working to put out these episodes as quickly as I can so you guys will have some content to enjoy over the next few days. Maybe while you're waiting for Sun and Moon or to enjoy alongside me. So as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.